So, of course, we are seconds away from kickoff uh, between FC Nantes and Celtic FC. Two huge clubs again in the eFootball Pro League. Let's get things underway. So, uh, in case you didn't know already, it's Celtic in the white and green with uh, Etorito and Luca Tubelli. And Nantes are in the yellow strip, represented by Asbab Jensk and Alex GRD. Tell us a bit about those two for, for those that aren't quite as uh, au fait with them as uh, they might be with the others. Yeah, so AS Babisk and, uh, of course, Alex GRD, as we've said, they, they have no sort of big titles to their name, but they have been around the Pez League. They've certainly competed in the major tournaments. They just need to kind of go that next step now, something that their uh, sort of rivals for today have done in the summer and going back in history for Etorito, especially as the ball gets played through. Celtic with the first real chance and straight away showing that cohesion. Absolutely, that was a really good interplay between Etorito and uh, Luca Tibelli and, uh, well, all of a sudden, Nantes uh, with a chase through the centre and that came out of nothing. What an opportunity this is uh, and what a surprise that could have been. Well, we were just talking about what can they bring to this tournament and they almost threw that straight back in our face as the ball gets played through on the counter-attack. A lovely touch inside onto his favourite right foot. And he just needed to find that little bit of room in that far corner, just a bit too close to the goalkeeper. Otherwise, it would have been 1-0 to FC Nort. I wonder if they'll look at that as a, a missed opportunity rather than a good save. Celtic clear their lines at the moment, but uh, action-packed start to the game. The first match of match day one was somewhat cagey, but all of them since then have uh, really but off to electric starts. Absolutely, we've had a, a big chance, not even just a chance apiece, a big chance apiece here with uh, just nine minutes gone on the clock. Yeah, interesting to just try and decipher the uh, style of play that we're going to see from both teams. You do wonder if, you know, they have set parameters for how they want to approach the game or if they wait to see how the opposition are setting up and then adjust accordingly. Well, I mean, from... Uh, Etorito and Luca Tubelli's point of view, Celtic FC, of course, on this occasion in the Football Pro League, they generally start games very, very quickly. Now, that would offer two possible uh, sort of answers to that from FC Nantes' point of view, and that's start cagey, start defensive, soak up the pressure, hit on the counter, or play fire with fire. And, uh, well, so far it looks like the latter because they are certainly going for it here as they come forward again. Uh, straight through the middle here, chance to shoot. No, he chips it over the top. Crosses across the face and almost a chance there again for the Frenchman. Well, I think that the uh, team that are going to be the most successful are going to be the ones that have uh, got the best uh, defensive attributes because we've seen a few near misses due to uh, sloppy play at the black at the back rather. Here is Sinclair to Tierney and uh, given away, and Yuan is able to take up the running. Two players in support. Hendry across the close, but. Uh, not still have it. It's back to Yuan, who stands it up neatly enough, and that's a close call. It's another chance there, flashing across the face for the team from France. 18 minutes gone, and you'd have to say they've given as good as they've got here. Yeah, the two Frenchmen are making a very good fist of this. From the outside looking in, people would have made Celtic favourites, given the uh, high-profile players that are representing them in the shape of Luca Tubelli and Etorito. One thing to note, we've never seen Etorito and Luca Tubelli as a duo. They've always had Alex Argentino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is Celtic who have taken the lead. And just when I was going to say, are they quite the same team without Alex Argafiel from Barcelona? Well, they're one and up, Mark. Blink of an eye and a clinical finish. And that's what the quality they have at their disposal will do. Decisive pass, cool finish, and uh, there wasn't really much that Nantes could do about it. It was that. the way he got room here on the edge of the area. He just sort of blitzed past the centre-back. And uh, you've got a feel if you were FC Nantes, you'd be a bit disappointed they weren't able to track that runner because it was just a simple pass through the middle, wasn't it? Yeah, but uh, you have to be so, so quick to spot that kind of space. And uh, that's exactly what those two in green and white are capable of doing. And it does put a different complexion on uh, the first half as we hit the midway point in the first period. You'd have to say up to then, FC Nantes certainly uh, at least with a, a, 
on a level playing field in terms of uh, their performance in this game, if not edged the first sort of 20 minutes or so, but now they find themselves behind, how can they respond? Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what uh, they do if they uh, change their uh, style of play or just keep persevering, because it nearly had them uh, in front early on. Briata has been beaten to the ball, this is dangerous, but uh, it's just been taken beyond the byline. So, uh, Celtic lead here, Etorito and Luca Tubelli. We, of course, mentioned how they were part of a trio who won the Co-op World Finals in the Pez League this year alongside Alex Algathea. They are on separate teams now. Be interesting to see them two face each other. Absolutely, so many subplots uh, abound during this competition. The script is being written. Half an hour played, Celtic ahead and uh, starting to look a bit more comfortable after Knox gave them uh, a little scare early on. But uh, they haven't made too many inroads into that Celtic area since. I still wouldn't be too disheartened if I was FC Nantes now, because they've still got a foothold in this game, and the one goal can change, as we well know, very, very quickly. But what they can't afford to do is go 2-0 down. You feel, based on the ability and experience of the duo from Celtic FC, that might just be that as the ball gets played in and uh, the offside flag is raised. Otherwise, that could have been another chance there for Celtic. Absolutely. Torito and Luca Tubelli, uh, the 21 and 22-year-old amongst uh, the uh, youngest uh, pair of uh, players to turn out on match day one. And we're nearly caught out, but uh, Craig Gordon, the goalkeeper, down well for Celtic. They've certainly created a good few chances, haven't they, the team from France? Yep. It's an all-French lineup against an all-Italian contingent in terms of the esports players on show. Forest for Celtic. Well, nearly the second. So 1-0 here to Celtic FC as we tick towards the end of the first half. And is it a fair result? Do you feel it should be level? I think that Celtic could value for their advantage at the moment, and that was a almost a very neatly worked second goal for the Green and Whites as well as uh, McGregor takes the corner. Not seen uh, go from a corner so far. Neither uh, team uh, so far in the tournament has been able to maximise one of those. One goal from a free kick, of course. That was in the very first encounter, if memory serves. That is the trouble with having players who are the elite. So good that they uh, obviously go through set pieces with a fine tooth comb. And yes, they do their work offensively, but also they know exactly how to prevent goals as well from those set pieces. So that's probably why we're seeing a bit of a stalemate from those specific areas. Gordon sends it upfield then. And uh, has uh, got a little bit scrappy. He's uh, not to come forward. Koulibaly's in a bit of room here, worked on nicely. And Koulibaly trying to get on the end of it and has uh, got there as well. Lovely back heel. And that was a good chance. Probably the best chance of the match there. It looked like the defender got the block in front of the goalkeeper in the end. I'm not sure whether that was flying in, nestling into the back of the net, or whether uh, indeed the goalkeeper had it covered. We will never know. Gamboa for Arzani. Final minute of the first half. And uh, Celtic probably 1-0 ahead at the break is a decent reflection of what we've seen so far, but... Uh, it's not far away from going in all square. No, it looks like we are going to finish 1-0 to Celtic at the end of the first half, but certainly from a Celtic point of view, they, they'll feel possibly a little bit worried, I feel, going into this second half, because they certainly, have it, they certainly haven't had it all their own way, have they? No promising signs uh, for the players as we get the second half underway. So 45 minutes away from their first win of the campaign. But of course, remember, that won't give them the three points. We will go to the second game and they will have to either draw or win. But that means, or that would only mean that case if they were able to go through and take all three points here with this first win. I made that very confusing, didn't I, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's clear is I that... I confuse uh, myself, let alone the people at home. I do apologise. Celtic have a corner. So far, interestingly, both the uh, previous uh, best of two head-to-heads have uh, ended in uh, three points after one win and one draw in the uh, two games. The uh, first.
games in both series ended in draws and then there were wins in the resultant game. Looks as though Celtic may find themselves in trouble here though. And Koulibaly, well, that was an opportunity, but it's almost as if they panicked a bit when they got into the yeah, area. It's, it's, it's kind of a, a positive and a negative. They must feel very uh, you know, happy with the chances they're making, but they're getting to that final moment, that last bit of quality that they need. Yeah, Celtic yeah, yeah. have got, and that's the difference at this level. Not about two minutes early, had a pretty much identical chance across the face. They weren't able to get the shot away. They dillied and dallied. Celtic FC, on the other hand, went straight down the other end, fired across the face. Bam, 2-0 mark. Well, they knew exactly what they were doing there and they executed it to a tee. Lovely one-touch move, finished off, and uh, you can see what it means to them. Absolutely, and uh, Etorito there leading the charge with the celebrations, but uh, FC Norts will probably feel a little bit hard done by. They've certainly been in this game, but now they find themselves with a mountain to climb here with just half an hour remaining. McGregor forwards to uh, Scott Sinclair. The only time there was a uh, two-goal margin, it was minimalised pretty soon after. It was in the Schalke Monaco game that we saw when Monaco went 2-0 uh, ahead. Schalke pulled one back soon after. Cannot do the same here. Forrest. You are always most vulnerable just after you score, as you so wonderfully put earlier, Mark. Yeah, but uh, Celtic standing firm in the immediate aftermath of their second goal although there is a possible counter-attack here three on four if they can play this right could have barley nearly in around the back and uh, picked up by arzani now for celtic half an hour left to play and uh, the uh, italian pair in charge of this one and heading for victory in the first game of the uh, two game match but big chance could have defending to do here yuan nicely taken down oh, and well oh, finished finish. What a finish, Mark, because it looked like he'd taken the ball far too far towards the goalkeeper. He'd taken too long to get the shot away, but then he just sort of jinked it to the side and guided it past the outstretched goalkeeper, and it's game on here. And again, a team doesn't stay two goals ahead for too long, really. Lovely touch, and it's a cool finish. That Could finish. have easily panicked there and uh, just produced a wild finish instead. Really did take his time and bury it brilliantly. Game on. The vision of the pass was the, the the audacity of that pass was the thing that did it for me. And again, it, it's a similar sort of reaction to what we saw from uh, AS Monaco. They they they're just they look disappointed more than anything that they've allowed this game to sort of get behind them. Back in the game then, and uh, changes now afoot as well. So two different formations here, Mark. We have, of course, the 4-3-3, which we have seen quite regularly, but it is a flat sort of top two in the three against the more of a diamond for uh, FC Nantes. Forrest to Christie. And Christie with uh, no way through. Well, the uh, score at the top is incorrect. It is 2-1 uh, <laughs> rather than 3-0 to... Yes, we apologise for, for the people watching at home. It is, of course... Uh, FC Norse 1, Celtic 2, and that will change, I'm sure, very shortly. But it's a chance for 2-2 two -two here as the ball gets played oh, in. Oh, what a goal! Remarkable. Well, they look to have such an uphill task, but two goals in quick succession have levelled the scores. What work and what disappointment for those two. Well, that looks like pure complacency there from Celtic. They look to have the game home and dry in their favour. And uh, for some reason or another, they've taken their foot off the steam and they've allowed FC Nantes back into the game. And it's almost, other than the fact that it's on the deck as opposed to over the top, it's basically the same goal, isn't it? Absolutely. Well, remarkable. Who would have seen this coming? When Celtic extended their lead to 2-0, you wouldn't have uh, predicted this comeback. And, well, a shake of the head. They, were, they looked like there was no blame. They both looked like they'd made mistakes in the build-up to that goal, and I'm sure that is the case because, defensively, they were a shambles there, Mark. Yeah, the score is 2-2. Two -two. And uh, oh, this has been a turn-up for the books. Could, Could there be three? another goal? Oh, what a chance. It should have been three, and that, unless there's an offside or a penalty. Is it a penalty? He's given a, he's no, given a foul. He's given it the other way. Oh, the drama here, Mark, in the E-Football Pro League. 
in this arena. The big hitters, Etorito, so many awards and uh, prizes in Pro Evolution Stepping Soccer again. to his name. Oh, and Luca Tubelli, again, uh, another one who's been there and done it, has won the Italian Pez Championship, he's been world champion, but that pair are finding it really tough against Nantes. They, they're going to have to use all of their experience to work out what is happening here because they're being cut open time and time again with that one simple ball over the top. And uh, it looks like they might try it again here, just can't quite evade the challenge from Boyata. And uh, it's clear down the left-hand side. Can Eterito and Luca Tuvelli now get back on the front foot? And uh, because that is when they are their most dangerous. They're not a counter-attacking team. They like to boss possession. Quick, fast football in and around the edge of the opposition penalty area. And uh, they need to get back to doing that. Otherwise, I could see a third from Nantes because they should really be in front after that last chance. Griffiths unable to control that one. He was offside anyway. Final quarter of an hour this is very much up for grabs and again it's been another real thriller every game so far has been top quality and top entertainment so that was a really late challenge there the referee's played advantage I'm sure he'll go back for the yellow card but he won't matter if they can score here what a finish and once again Eterito and Luca Tubelli showing why they were world champions in the summer because they allowed a two-goal lead to just slip away. And what happens? They've gone back on the front foot. And that shows professionalism, doesn't it, Mark? Well, I cannot believe that uh, that has happened. It's uh, sick enough for Nantes just after they had the chance to go 3-2 up themselves. They're behind. And maybe that experience has told in the end. Possibly FC Nantes got a little bit excited having come back into the match and they thought, here we go. This could be a truly huge moment in our fledgling careers. And uh, unfortunately, they've been pegged back again the other way to 3-2 to the away team. And uh, they're going to have to come from behind again. Well, Celtic heading for victory then in game one. And uh, that would mean that a draw would be enough for them in game two to take the three points from this particular match on match day one. Torre, Waris, Salah looking for Waris again. Oh, expected the net to bulge there. They looked for all the world to see from up here in the gantry that that was going to rifle into that far corner. He took it down beautifully and how that's not gone in, I will never know. But with eight minutes remaining, crucially, it has gone the wrong side of the post and Celtic still lead here. Remarkable. Well, it's uh, not beyond the stretch of the imagination to say that Notts could have won this game. Instead, they uh, have to be careful not to be knocked out of sight here. Christie, dangerous. And Forrest looking to just kill it off for Celtic but couldn't get the ball out from underneath his feet. Hendry smashes upfield. Well, certainly, if FC Notts can sort of sharpen up their back line they could be a real force in this eFootball Pro League having said that if they do that often teams then struggle offensively and it's a, a hard balance to find and we'll wait and see whether they can do that but certainly going forward they've looked a breath of fresh air haven't they absolutely done themselves very proud in a game that uh, they uh, on paper were big underdogs in because of the credentials that the opponents had into the final minute of the 90 now. Is there a final twist to the tail? Grotto running out of room. And uh, that should be the keeper's ball, and is. Last long kick down the field. One minute, says the fourth official. And they have the ball, and they have the chance, Mark. He's in. Chance to equalise right to the death. He's hit the post. Oh, oh it's gone wide. Oh, would you believe what it? What a save. Well, the flag is up. And that might be the last chance of the game. What oh. a climax, what a game, and Celtic have edged it by three goals to two. Well, for anyone at home watching, wondering why we love...